One of Japan's most famous festivals kicks off today. People are flocking to Sapporo on Japan's northern island of Hokkaido, where sculptors have turned the city's main park into a winter wonderland. It's the 65th annual Sapporo Snow Festival, and NHK World's Akane Nakajima joins us from the festival. Akane, tell us, how's it looking over there? The party has just started here in Sapporo, and it is 10.15 a.m. Snow is falling. The temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. Have a look. There are a lot of visitors coming to the main venue. Odori Park is where most of the action is. Organizers are expecting more than 2 million people to visit over the next seven days. Now, what they've come to see are these huge snow sculptures, like this one behind me. This building soars 10 meters high. It's amazing how the towers don't topple over, and we'll show you why later on. Now, this is a scale model of a historical building in India. The original is nearly 400 years old. Its turrets and intricate facade have earned it the nickname the Baby Taj Mahal. The snow shines like marble. The walls have all kinds of decorative motifs. The sculpture preserves the symmetry and proportions of the original Baby Taj Mahal. Have a look at the snow sculpture from a different angle. See how the towers are perfectly parallel. It's incredible how they can do it with just snow. So Akane, I hear the sculpture is the star attraction at this festival. Who are the artists that made it? Yes, you might be surprised to hear who built this amazing structure. Members from Japan's self-defense forces, they spent an entire month turning this mound of snow into an amazing attraction. Here's how they did it. Every year, some members of the SDF in Hokkaido help out with the snow festival. It's part of their seasonal drills. One month before the festival, they start bringing in the snow from the suburbs. They use more than 2,000 tons of it. Kenji Murata is in charge of the project this year. He says snow is a part of nature. It can change shape or start to lean because of its weight or changes in temperature. The most difficult job is balancing the four towers. We have to make sure that they don't tilt. The team's biggest challenge this year is to create towers 10 meters high using nothing but snow. The key is to pack the snow as tightly as possible, and they do it all with shovels. They carve from the top down, taking great care to ensure the towers won't tilt and everything is perfectly symmetrical. The SDF team takes charge of the whole process from design to construction. These aren't skills they are taught in regular training. They learn on the job, picking up techniques from senior members. Instead of carving the building from just one big pile of snow, the team shapes the building components one by one by placing templates on blocks of snow. This one will go on top of one of the towers. And to attach those pieces to the main sculpture, more snow. They polish each piece with their bare hands to make them shine and slow down the melting. My hands aren't cold. I want the sculpture to look pretty. They join more than 1,000 pieces to make the replica of the baby Taj Mahal. All the hard work is worthwhile when people see the sculpture and say they're impressed. I hope lots of people come to see it. Well, Kane, I'm impressed by all the skill and hard work that went into making the sculpture. Just fantastic, isn't it? 
Yes, the details that were put in can be seen even more in person. The baby Taj Mahal is one of the highlights, but it's not the only one. There are more than 100 snow and even ice sculptures of different shapes and sizes. The event runs through February 11th, something you'll certainly want to check out. Thanks very much, Akane.